Hey, I'm here with Michael Larson, who is a, hey, a frequent uh, visitor to PNSQC, and um, I'm really curious about why you continue to return and to volunteer as a reviewer and do those kind of things <laughs> for this conference. Uh, well, the simple answer is, is they keep asking me. <laughs> and to be honest, uh, that has a lot to do with it. Wow, that's but a good more to the point, well, when I first, my first, I first attended PNSQC in 2010, and I came because they they said we need reviewers for papers. I said sure, I can do that. We get you a free thing. And I was starting a podcast at the time, and they said, oh, it'd be so great if uh, you'd be willing to interview our our speakers. I said sure, okay, that would be a lot of fun to be able to do that. And I did a number of clips with that. And through that process, I got to know a lot of the people. And the next year, they said, hey, would you like to speak? Would you like to present a paper? And so I did. And subsequent years, I've been able to be there or I haven't been able to be there. Um, biggest frustration was in the year 2011, I, I wrote a paper. And then I broke my leg in a skateboarding accident. And I couldn't actually <laughs> deliver it. So uh, that, it was my. I was really frustrated, but they, the nice thing was is that they still published the paper and nice. they said, hey, it's here. And so people still reference that and I was really happy to have that experience. And I think just because of the fact that so many people have been inviting and they've encouraged us to participate, I love the fact that we get to publish papers because that's a real tangible thing that I can then show future employers or just people who are interested in my work. and. If they want to know something about me, I'm like, I've got actual papers published. Why don't you read those? Yeah. And you'll know whether or not I'm the right person for your company or not. That's great. Thank